Okay, so I'm going to show you how to draw a quick animal portrait for tomorrow. And we're still working on them, but we're going to be working on backgrounds next. So um, what you're going to do is go to gallery, hit plus, new screen, and then make sure it's 4,000 by 3,000. And then hit create. So now what you're going to do is on the first layer, you're going to rename it. So double tap with your pencil, click rename. And we're going to name that sketch layer. So now what you're going to do with the sketch layer is that you're going to go to the brushes, hit sketching and use a procreate pencil. And then you could use like a, this kind of blue, I guess, to sketch, whatever is the lighter color. And then on this layer, you're gonna sketch out all your ideas. So what you want on the, in the drawing. So when you are drawing your animal, think about that shape project we did. So. Maybe your animal has a very round head, or if you want to do a tiger, think about their head shape. So they kind of have a heart shape head. So maybe I want to do that for a tiger, because you really want to exaggerate its features. I'll do circles for eyes. And this is a really rough sketch because, again, this is only the sketch layer. So maybe you don't like the placement of where you put your drawing. So what you can do is just use the select over here and bring that down. Maybe you want to change the size too, so you can just carefully do this. And then click that mouse tool again when you're done. Maybe you want to draw Animal Crossing character, you can do that. So when I'm sketching this, I'm kind of thinking what kind of room they would be in. So maybe I want to draw the tiger a bedroom. So I'm going to sketch that all on the same layer. Okay, so now that you have the sketch layer all done, what you want to do next is go to your layers over here, hit plus for a new layer, and don't forget that this means that you're on top of this layer. So anytime you add a new one, this sketch layer is going to be underneath everything. So. So now for this one, I'm going to double tap and rename it ink layer. Okay, so now that I have my ink layer, what I'm gonna do is go back to sketch and tap that N over here. You're gonna tap the N lower the opacity. So now you're just making your sketch layer more transparent. Now that you've done that, we're gonna change the color to black, to ink. Go to the brush tools, hit inking, and do studio pen. And then don't forget over here, if you wanna do really clean lines, to change your streamline all the way to 100. Done. So now I'll start inking it and I'll just be really careful. And if you want to add details, 
that you didn't have in your sketch layer, that's completely fine. That's why it's a sketch, because you're only roughing out your idea. And then before we do this, go back to your layers, go to sketch layer, and slide to the left. And then what you're going to do is you're going to tap lock. So that just locks your layer so you won't touch that, you won't accidentally go to it. Now we'll go back to drawing. Okay, so if you want to make a perfect line, don't forget that you can draw your curve or your line and then hold with your stylus and it turns into a perfect circle or a curve or a line. So I'll do that. Say over here, I want to do a perfect line. I'll just do that and then hold. Perfect line work. If you want to change the size of your brush, don't forget, just click and drag here. Perfect circle. Click and hold. Now that you have your ink layer all done, this is what I came up with. It's fine if it's all in one layer again because we're just going to keep layering and this is all about layering and colors. So now what you're going to do is go to the layers, hit plus again, and then now we're going to start coloring, I guess. So what you'll do is you'll start off with the head. So my tiger's head is orange. Oh, and also go back to your ink layer and hit N and lower the opacity a bit just so we can see what we're doing. And then you want to swipe and lock. So now we go back to layer three and you can keep naming these as you go. So I'll double tap, rename and right head. Now I go to my brush layer or my brushes. Tap, make sure I'm using Studio Pen. And I'll start tracing the head. And it's fine if you don't draw the details in because we're gonna do that later. And this is your final piece, so make sure you really like it. And now what I'm going to do, now that I finished the headpiece, I'll go over here where my color is, tap and hold, oh, tap and hold it, and drag it over to the head. Another way you can read or do this is come over here, go over here, go all the way down to the last one and hit recolor. Now that we have the head layer over with, I'm just gonna hit N, lower the opacity so I can see my details, and make a new layer. Double tap, rename, right eyes. I wanna go to white. And then again, click and drag to fill, or you can go to Magic Wand, click Recolor, and then see how I colored my whole canvas? What you can do is that little plus sign over here, you can click and drag it to the eyeball, and it'll fill in the eyeball. And then what you can do is tap over here because this is also white, so tap, and that's an easier way to use, I guess, a paint bucket tool. And then I want to click the mouse again to go back. So now we have the eyes. And then notice how I didn't draw the pupils yet and I made a new layer. We're going to call this one the pupil layer. Pupils. 
We're gonna lower the eye layer opacity. And then what we can do now is use the clipping mask. Now clipping mask is gonna help you draw within the eye layer. So I'll tap here, click clipping mask, choose black for my pupil, And now you'll notice this is where my finished eye is. If I draw, notice how it's only staying within the eyeball. That's what clipping mask helps you do. So I'll go and make sure I perfectly draw my pupils that I want. I'm changing them up a bit. But you also want to make sure that your lines are connected when you're filling these in. Because even though it doesn't show it, it's still there. It's just hidden. So now that I connected my pupils, I can go and fill that in. And now if I bring the opacity back up, see how it didn't go outside the eyeball layer? But you have to make sure that you have that little arrow pointing down to your other layer or else it won't work. So tap and cl select clipping mask. So now what you want to do is do that with the details as well. So for the head layer, I can go here, hit plus rename stripes and then tap and clipping mask make sure i have the color i want go to brush and draw in those details Now, if I put the opacity up, you can see it all went within the head layer. Just fix a few things. Okay, so now we want to do the mouth. So I'll lower this again. Go up here, hit plus. I'm going to use a light yellow. I'll rename that mouthpiece. Bring my head layer's opacity back up. Okay, so I'll probably speed up the rest, but make sure when you're layering, um, be careful with what you want underneath and over the drawing. So this arm, I want it to go over the head. So I'll go to the way top, hit plus, rename that arm one. Draw that in. I can use my clipping mask. And now, notice how this arm is underneath the head. I'll go to the bottom, tap here, and hit plus. So now that means my arm two layer is going to be underneath the head. So bottom if you want something underneath, the top if you want something over your drawing.
So I'll rename that arm two. And draw. See how it went underneath? So be really careful with that. Now I'm just going to do the rest real quick. Also, just a side note, we're only drawing the tiger and coloring. We're not doing the background till Tuesday. Okay, so now what you're going to do after you filled up your character with the base color, we're going to start shading. So what you'll do is, I'll start off with the head layer, so go over here. You're going to tap and hit alpha lock. Now if you remember the first class, that means if you click alpha lock, you can color within your layer and it won't leave. So you can color like crazy and it won't leave the space that you've drawn. What we're going to do now is we're going to go to touch ups and over here we're going to click noise brush. So again, go to the bottom where it says touch ups, tap that one and these brushes will show up and you want to tap noise brush. So now I'll choose a shading color. So I'll go back to orange, my base. And instead of going downward like that to that brown, what you want to do is use this little slider and go to the reds and then slide down a little bit. So now that I'll use my noise brush and you can change the size of the brush, we'll just carefully start shading. So notice the difference it makes when you use just a darker red instead of going straight down to brown. It makes the drawing pop out more. So if I want to go even darker, I can slide the slider over to more red, go a little darker, make my brush smaller, and start shading again. But don't cover up what you did before. Maybe I'll go a little darker. Now, if I really want it to pop, I can go to purple. Make it a little darker. And look at the difference that it makes when you're shading. Now your drawing's really going to pop with that purple. And then say if you drew or shaded in a little too much and you don't like it, you can always undo or tap here, go back to your base color, and then start shading it back. And if you do that, you're going to give your drawing more volume too. Also, notice in my drawing how I have a window. So you want in, the way you want to shade is depending on where your light source is coming from. So mine's coming from the window. So when you're shading, keep in mind where your light source is. If you have a lamp in the drawing or a TV, maybe you have a window. So I'll just have it, the light source be from the window. So all the light's gonna hit here. And then imagine what that's like when the light is hitting your animal. So I'll go back to airbrushing. Oh, sorry, touch-ups. Go back to the noise brush. And go back to my shading. Also, if you really like a color and you wanna save it, what you can do here is go to palettes Go up here and hit plus, and that makes a new empty space for you. So I'll name it Tiger, and then click default, 
And that means when I go back here, this is where I can save what colors that I want. So this is my base color. I'll tap it and then tap here and now it's saved. So I don't have to search through my history. Maybe I want to save my shading color. If you want to make a highlight, again, instead of just going straight up to that light orange, what you can do is move your slider upward now instead of downward. So go up to the yellow and start highlighting the other side of your drawing. So now I'm highlighting this side of its head because the light is coming from there. Again, if you want, you can go a bit brighter. Just don't go too crazy when it comes to highlight. And you want to do that with the rest of your layers. So remember, and you can do it with the clipping mask ones too. So if I go to stripes, tap, alpha lock, I can use that yellow highlight on the black just lightly. Maybe I want some up here. If you don't like the way the brush looks, you can make it a little smaller. Okay, I'll go to eyes, tap, alpha lock. Now with this white, I want to use blue for shading, not gray. So I'll use that blue and just lightly shade the eyes. And then if I want to highlight the eyes, I can do like a really neon look. And again, do that with the rest of your drawing. So alpha log. I'm using this yellow now. I'm going to shade this yellow. So I'm going to shade the mouth now. So this is a yellow base. So I'm just going to use my slider again and slide a little bit over and then make it darker. So now it's that nice peachy tone for shading. Again, maybe I want to go a little darker. Use highlight, go back up. And do that with the rest of your layers. This is the one we worked on in class, but it should look like this. See, yellow highlight, red tones, purple tones. Here I went purple, red, yellow. And I'm using that window as a light source. 